Welcome back to Educator.com's SAT prep course. This lesson is on outlining your essay for the SAT writing section. Let's get started. All right, we begin as always with a brief lesson overview. We're going to talk about why it's important to outline before you write. Then we're going to talk about two outlining methods, the formal outline and the informal outline, which is also called the mnemonic outline. We're going to do some examples, see some outlining in action, and then we're going to conclude with outlining tips. All right, first of all, why should you outline? Why should you take one to five precious minutes of those 25 minutes you get on the test to you know, write little notes that nobody but you is ever going to see? Well, it's worth it to take a minute or two at the start of the, the essay period to think about the prompt and outline your response. This is actually a thinking and prep period. You know how you really have no time to prepare for the SAT essay because you don't know what the prompt is going to be? Well, you can take time at the beginning of the essay period to do your prep. And if you're smart, you can do it quickly. A good outline is like a road map. It shows you where you've been and where you're going. An outline keeps your essay from veering off topic. Remember, off topic is the kryptonite of SAT essays. If you go off topic, you get a zero. An outline lets you arrange your examples in the best possible order. You've probably had an English teacher tell you at some point to arrange your examples so you have a strong one at the beginning and a really strong one at the end, and if you're going to have a weak one, bury it in the middle. Well, outlining lets you arrange them ahead of time. And finally, outlining helps, lets, ah, helps you remember your examples. Yes, you really can forget your examples inside 25 minutes. The SAT test is stressful, things you never think were going to happen are going to happen, and a fair number of students seem to start their essays and then have no idea what they're talking about and just make it up all the way to the end. If you have an outline, if you have that roadmap, you know where you're going and it doesn't happen to you.